Hey, how's it going everyone with Axel Wolf here? Welcome to the channel. We are starting Deliver Us Mars. It's the second game. Uh, the first game was called um, Deliver Us the Moon. And I played that one. But if you ask me what was it about, I'd be like, mm, I don't know. I was walking around in space doing things and I found a rubber duck. That's what I remember from that game. But I remember enjoy enjoying it. It, w it was fairly short, the first one. Um, maybe five to six hours to complete it. But anyway, this is Deliver Us Mars. And uh, I'm going to play it. So here we go. Prologue. Interesting. What's going on here? That's probably the character we're playing as, but young. I think I toggled, I, I, I enabled the uh, names in cutscenes. Yeah, I did that. Because usually I mess around with the settings. A little explorer. Hey. Now. Finally managed to get you a new one. Yeah. Ah, but before I give it to you, you have to promise to take better care of him. Okay. Better than the ones that you destroyed before. I promise. <laughs> a moon bear for my moon bear. I'm almost ready, Kathy. Give me five minutes to get into my wetsuit. Don't overdo it, honey. School and work never stop. Just uh, pace yourself. No, I know, I know. I just lost track of time. Plus, the subject matter fascinates me. <laughs> Father like daughter, I guess. <clears throat> Promise? Yes. Oh, she's going to ruin it. <laughs> Okay. She loves space, huh? Got the room. That's cool. Star bears. <laughs> is that like Star Wars? <laughs> okay, I see uh, Vader in the back. Objectives. Uh, go swim with Claire. Wait for Claire to change. Okay, Ma. Connecting moon with man. Fusion energy. For humanity. For the future. Okay. Her head clipped through that door. World's best dad. Okay, uh... 
That's what I'm doing. I'm waiting. Let's take a look outside. That is a nice view. Imagine just sitting here on your phone, checking out memes and stuff. Then you look, you see this view. <laughs> or playing on your Vita or who, who plays on Vita these days on Steam Deck or something. I don't know. <laughs> I would totally do that. I would play video games like wherever I'm at. Property just 15 minutes from the new campus. We must have earned a free loyalty relocation at this point. Lizzie, the, another one of these seasons, and this entire area will be a desert. Can we just hold off until the kids are done with school and I actually finish a residency for once? I'm just trying to keep us safe. Honey, the kids have a dad that commutes to the moon. Safe means something else to them. I want to give them just a bit of normalcy, okay? Right! Mummies and daddies are allowed to do this, I'm afraid. Breaking news as we go alive to the southern border of Colorado in the United States, where fighting has erupted between refugees and border troops. President Van Zandt has denounced the violence, stating that... Weren't you going to go snorkeling with Claire? Wow. So much shit going on in the world. Spectacular dive, honey. <laughs> Thanks. Such an athlete. <laughs> Get a room. I think I pulled something. Oh, she's here standing. Oh my god, she's scary looking. You're taking moon bear snorkeling? <laughs> yes. Snorkeling. There's still a lot of debris floating around. I know, Dad. Don't worry. Come on. Okay, let's go. Okay, bye, Dad. Love you. Better get in the water quick before Dad catches you. Come on. Let's go. Man, they love space so much. This looks like a rocket of some sort. Wait, are we? Yeah, we're. Uh, we're talking about Colorado and stuff. So we're on Earth. I was like, too. bring me the bear that you little troublemaker. <laughs> nice. I swear, you get this cheese from your mother. And that's it. Maybe I'll disable the uh, the names. I don't know. It's distracting a little bit. AZ Unit seventy six three three dash R. Ownership transfer authorization one seven zero five four four. Isaac Johansson. Kathy Johansson. Whatever happens, you must keep Ada close to you at all times. Never let her out of your sight, all right? That's okay. I've got you. I've got you. Listen, remember, we must be very quiet, okay? No. Just listen to me. You have to go. You have to go. What is going on here? How are your legs? Moon Base 2060. Where's Moon Bear? Well, we don't have time for that now, darling. I want Moon Bear. I, I think it's somewhere in this room. Uh, be quick. Person condition met, connection has been reestablished. Is this, uh. No, oh, it looks legit. It's not their house. I don't get it, though. Why are they there? On the moon. Okay, what do you want me to do, Dad? Oh, wait. So, uh, left on the D pad is the camera. Find Moonbear. Uh, Found him. Found it. Great. Now, now come to me. I need your help, Moonbear. 
There's a button on the other side of the room. When it turns on, I need you to press it, okay? Okay. Now, Munda. I hear it. What are you doing? What are you doing? He's pacing. Um, oh, that button. That's it. Okay, it's time to go. Why Stand are you crouching? See you. Oh no. Oh yeah, well maybe Earth is gone and this okay, is uh <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, listen carefully, darling. In the room on the other side of the vent up there is Ace. Rose is Ace? Yes, we need to take him with us and get him back to her. Ace likes me best. After Rosa. Absolutely. That's why I need you to climb up there and call him over to you. Quietly. Okay? Okay. Whoa. Right, gravity. They're not taking us with them. Do you see that? They're leaving the vehicle here. We're So they were all planning to abandon Earth? Let's tell the team we've got the Lunar Council AC in our hands. We need to see more of these holograms. Ace. Ace, it's me. Hi. Follow me. The way he's standing is weird. What are you doing? ASC unit number 67354-N. Initiate transfer protocol. Lunar Council override. Isaac Johansson. Code 170544. Dad, Ace isn't like this. It's okay. He doesn't know we're taking him back to see Rosa. Isaac Johansson. We've got to hurry, Moon. They're probably looking for us now. Dad, my legs hurt. Come, I'll, I'll carry you. Okay. Do it, Dad. No one control him to Dad. Or maybe not, he's just running. I'm not pressing anything. going on here Where are we going? We're going to Albert Moon there together. Stick uh, on my controller is uh, has a slight drift. Should I open it? Oh, open the door. Yes, I'll do it. Please understand. If Daddy goes back to Earth with Claire, you and I will never be allowed to see each other again. We have to board the ship before it leaves without us. Yeah, that's right. Run fast ahead of your daughter. And like if I stand here, he's just running. Look at him. <laughs> Get to the tall move. I'm almost through. Come on. I think he's gonna die. He's gonna fall off or something. Dad! Come 
Moving, moving. Dead, stop. I really don't remember uh, when I played the first game if there was like Isaac or Blair or whatever. So I have no connection to these people other than this is my, this is our parent. I'm trying to remember. Wow, that's a big thing. I thought it was like a, an escape pod or something. This is huge. Deliver us Mars. Is that the prologue? Yes, it is. I think. Because I want to make every episode a chapter. I think it has chapters. So every episode will be one chapter. I'll try to do that. I don't know how many chapters are there. Maybe I'll look it up. Maybe not. I like to be surprised. The fight. That wouldn't be much help anyway. You're right. You wouldn't. That's an MPD systems are for nerds. Okay. Okay, bro. Just be honest. You're feeling too threatened by me and my super brain. That super brain of yours still needs to be chaperoned to every MPT dish by a senior staff member like me. Remember? Wait, did you finally admit that you're old? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, I'm nearly done. Just have to cut out some plating that's I mean, it's, uh, eight, guide. We're at Can 18 you let minutes me now. Ready to receive? I already did. Don't forget to hook the stream points back up to the receiver. Let me prologue mm -hmm. and chapter one together. Because that's so short. Okay, clear the obstruction. Uh, I think that that's the one, maybe. Wait, is there a ladder there? I just want to see if I can jump to the... Oh, yeah. This way. Okay, cut here. Okay. 
go up here. All right, now let's get the stream points hooked up and then we're done. Let me hook up these stream points and I'll be right there. Oh, we can cut that. Damn, I want those gloves can cut anything. Okay. Maybe here? No, wait. How can I get to here? before stream tech must have been a mess of cables snaking around entire living rooms I yep. well. Good times. okay just gotta find the receiver point to connect it to I don't remember uh, there weren't any col uh, like uh, like loot and stuff in the first game. I don't think they were there were anything. Hello, dude. Are you Ryan? This is the third site I've had to hook up to a stream point. These dishes shouldn't be running on emergency power. Yeah, along with everything else in this place. These smaller cast grain antennae can't withstand another thermal shock. Not with the prolonged power traffic that's passing through them. You realize no one understands what you're saying, right? Come on, even you know what a cyclotron wave rectifier is. Okay, now you're just making up words. Hop on. All right. Interact. She's not going to ride up front. That's weird. I mean, video games, it's always like that. You're trying to look at the character's face, and they just look the other way. Are we still doing drinks after this? <laughs> Claire almost choked me to death last week for giving me beer. Worse. Listen, your sister might not be big, but when it's something that concerns you, that woman can kill a lion with her bare hands. So, that's a yes on the drinks. Hello? Hold on. I got a message that I've been asked to go to Maria right away. Apparently for some classified emergency meeting. Maria? That must be really serious. Can I tag along? No. <laughs> you only have to smuggle me past security. Now I get why they don't want us no. to look at their faces. Fine. <laughs> I know that fine. Claire? You going to that meeting at Maria's? That meeting you're not invited to? Yeah. Please, Claire, if you just let me through security, then I'll just, you know. I really have to go. Perhaps you can stop by her. No, I'll just hear about it later. It's fine.
WSA. Keep your head down. It's been restless again lately. Hey? What happened to that diplomatic golden tongue of yours? Didn't seem to work anymore. Can I skip this? It's taking forever. Here we go. All right, this is your stop. Is it? It is. Just let the grown ups handle this secret meeting first. Okay. That was uncalled for. Just wanted to make sure you're not still going to try anything dumb to get in. I won't. Don't even think about it. Uh-huh. I'm gone. That's the only way to go. Can right. we go back? Let's go find another way into Maria's office. Yeah, obviously that's what we're going to do. That's called lying, Ayla. Let's go. All right. Got a companion with me. I don't think there's anything uh, to pick up. Better jot that down. What is it? Scanned your first object. Ooh, right. I remember scanning. It was a thing, I think. Hey, dudes. Hey, man, what happened to your hair? Ugh. What about your hair? Uh, your, your hair looks cool. Let's go annoy the others. You. Damn, she looks depressed as fuck. All of them look depressed. Looks like I'm not hearing you. What are you talking about? Okay, uh, let's try to go into Maria's office. Not through here. All these benches and... You're sitting here? Why? see her face okay I think we can go through here yep the museum yeah we can cut through here to Maria's might be fun to have a look around too I've been here in ages Hello, buddy. Looks like no one has. Microwave power technology is a revolutionary form of energy absorption and distribution. The Lunar MPT, along with the 42 Earth-based MPT receivers, helped stop the growing energy crisis of the 2030s. MPTs, my jam. I got absolutely fascinated by it when I saw my dad working on it every day. He really saved this planet when he designed this. After the success of Mission Fortuna, Claire Johansson spearheaded Mission Bestia to provide manpower to the lunar MPT and bring Rolf's body back home. Claire and her team discovered WSA software engineer Sarah Baker critically injured in cryosleep. 
Isaac Johansson, one of the three Lunar Council members and core Atwood instigators, took the last arc and escaped. That's the last time I saw Dad. I'm fine. I don't know if they're talking about the previous game or not. I'm fine. Because I kind of remember something like finding something or whatever. Scan. I want to read. Can I read it again? Can't. Yeah, I kind of remember going to the moon and finding, like, the story of what happened. But we didn't, like, the character we're playing as didn't have a face. And I don't remember if it, if it, if the character called Sarah or not. Gotta look that up. Just to make sure. But, yeah, I remember. After the great blackout catapulted the Earth back into an energy crisis... Claire Johansson, Maria Gonzalez, and Rolf Robertson undertook Mission Fortuna, a manned rocket mission to discover the blackout's cause. Robertson, under the guise of Johansson and Gonzalez, refueled and reconnected the MPT dish. Claire really had such a big hand in reviving the WSA. I think that's the first, uh, the first game. Okay, this is the way. This is the way. Uh, no, it's not yet. You already scanned that. That's her dad. See the blueprints. Okay. Ayla, give that door a try and see if we get lucky. Well, worth a try. Because the first oh, game, I don't think we actually saw the main character's face. She's wearing a suit, I think. But I don't know why I remember, like, that's Sarah Baker or something. I remember that name from somewhere. Good, sis. <laughs> Do I really need to change these? I like nothing like that anymore. Are you joking? You look so good still. Thanks, I try. You? Trying anything? Yeah, right. I just, I meant that, like, Thanks. you... Never have to come on, Alex. Try. Are you headed to Maria's office? No, uh, why? Oh, I'm just going the same way. No. Hey, I was just looking at a few of the Mission Fortuna exhibits on my way over here. That's good. How long were you actually stationed on the moon? Oh, yeah. I was on the space station, mostly. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, that's why I never saw you on the surface, I guess. I saw you. Oh, really? When I did software upgrades for Rose's ASE. Oh, yeah, ACE. No, ASE. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I mean, <laughs> I named it ACE because I didn't get that ASE was an acronym, so I just kept calling it Ace, and Rosa would just start doing that too. It's kind of a confusing name, I guess. <laughs> right. Okay. Yours is named Alex, right? Uh, where are you headed to? Wait, wait, you didn't answer my question yet. Yeah, look, uh, it's named question. Alex right About there. About how long you were stationed on the moon? Oh. With the force cry Is that a recap? Sorry, I didn't mean to. I really just need to get to the meeting. I just wanted to apologize for what happened with my dad. I 
I know he didn't mean what he did. I think that's why he tried to save you on the moon. Save me? Your dad did not... Kathy, I don't want to be disrespectful, but what your dad and the Lunar Council did, they, they left us here to rot. They committed the worst crimes imaginable against humankind and our planet. They deserve to be punished for what they've done. Am I interrupting something? No. No. Thanks to an entire backlog of precedents, I know not to be surprised to see you here. I made it this far. You might as well just let no. me. No. Maria's gonna be on video. You no. Know. Okay, I thought you guys rehearsed that. We totally did. <laughs> I like being a rebel. Let's go. Six years. What? On the moon. It was six years. I'm sorry I didn't answer your question earlier. Right. Thanks. Maybe we can get into it. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe we need to follow the pipe paler. Follow the pipe. Is there anything here to scan? Maybe. How can we, uh, real quick and hop inside maybe <laughs> I like to see how the characters react when I look at their faces Isn't it this way? Let's just follow the path. Absolutely certain. The DSC team triple checked it. The signal was sent through a WSA communication device. So it must be them. Yes. We feel that we can safely assume that Project Outward sent this signal directly to us. Intentionally. I can't believe it. They're on Mars? Oh, Maria. You okay? Can't imagine this must be easy to hear with everything. I'm fine, I'm fine. I assume we can finally just find mission optimum. What happens if I keep going? Just wanna see. So they got a signal from Mars, probably her dad. And Oh. Wait.
Oh no. Oh no. Press triangle and didn't even look at the controls. Mission Opera? Since we pulled Sarah and Kathy from the moon, we've been formulating a contingency plan, should we discover Outward's location. During Mission Vestia, we found indications that the three ARC vessels Outward used to leave the moon weren't just for transportation. Our information leads us to believe these three ARCs actually form a trine to a completely self-reliant settlement. But why reach out? Why now? Is it a distress signal or an invitation? Doesn't matter. Mission Opera has only one objective. Bring the Arcs and their revolutionary technology back home. We should analyze the distress signal. Maybe we can determine the encryption used. We're working on it as we speak. I can enable terminal access in the back office. See what you make of it. Okay, let's see chapter select. Oh, we have one collectible there. Just probably scan something. And that one, we already scanned two things. Okay, that's cool that you can... I like a game that has chapter select. Especially when you're trying to go like for platinum or you missed something and you want to see it again. Uh, let's see. We'll go to that. Yep. Perfect. Ava, stay right there. What you're about to hear cannot leave this room. Understood? Okay, tell me how many Ryan and Sarah as part of the team. months? Not only do they excel in their respective fields, they're vital to me personally. I trust them both in my life. That leaves one more position to be filled. Yes. Hey. Hi. At the risk of sounding like an idiot, I think we should take Kathy. What? 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 She leagues above the other graduates in our program. You mean the I only want to be left class out. of astronauts that we've had in the past 10 years. It doesn't change the fact that she has nearly every exercise, sometimes even doubling my scores. I know you want to keep her out of this, but she's the best MPT engineer we've got. We need her expertise. And look, I will deny ever saying this under oath, I might add. Kathy is the most talented individual the WSA is working for them. Apart from you two. And me, of course. We're not seriously discussing this, are we? I mean, she she has no prior experience. She's a complete risk to the mission. Sarah's right. Kathy shouldn't be part of the team. There are too many factors involved. Hey, hey, Maria. Can I come in, please? Seriously? Please, Claire, let me be a part of the mission. Were you eavesdropping? Yeah, and I'm sorry for that, but Claire, you know I've proven myself to the WSA. 
two concurrent science degrees, majored in stream tech, top marks in the astronaut training program, like Ryan said. Thanks for the kind words, by the way, mate. Sure. And you need my MPT expertise. Please, bear with you by my side. I know I can do this. We can do this. Plus, there's only like, what, three other trained astronauts to choose from? So. What? 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 Nice. What? She's one of the most qualified people we have at the WSA. However, the final say is yours, of course. Okay, Kathy. Even though L Ryan's last argument was severely lacking, yeah. Ouch. I believe you'll do everything you can to guarantee the mission's success. Right, Kat? Of course. Now I would like to go over the minutia for the mission with Claire, Sarah, and Ryan. Can you let us handle this without listening in this time? Oh, well, seeing as I'm now... Kathy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Of course. It was a message to her. Was he told her to keep that with her all the time? Uh, I don't know the name. I, Alia, uh, you know, blah blah blah. Well, her robot friend, her drone friend. Okay. <laughs> That's the end of chapter one, maybe. We'll be able to climb stuff now. Yup, I don't remember climbing. Climbing wasn't a thing in the first game. But hey, we were on the moon. You all snug in there, Ayla? Ayla. Anything? Cup of coffee? Magazine? You diva. <laughs> You look nervous. And that amuses you? No, no. Just, just seeing you, you're proud. <clears throat> hey, that scar on Sarah's stomach, is, is that the one Dad gave her? Yeah, why? Just curious. Knock, knock. You ready? Let's go. Yeah? There was right there. I thought she left. She was like, hey. That scar. Uh, I think this is uh, a new chapter, right? No, we're still in chapter... I really don't know, but we're, we're gonna... Maybe... Nah, let's just continue. Because, uh... GC, we're heading to like the I said... Now. Every episode is going to be one chapter. How's everyone feeling? Good. Slept like a baby. Of course you did. You didn't? Yeah. Sure. How about you two? Good. Yeah, fine. Good. Maybe there are things to scan here. Maybe not. Anyway. Top on. What happened? Is this the only spot I can sit in? Here we go. No turning back. Nope.
Hey, you know what I still think about? What? How come we get to live in better conditions than the people in the shanty town? How is that possible? Pure probability. Geographically and demographically, we were born in the right place at the right time. They weren't so lucky. Right. Yeah, right. Oh, they really don't seem to want us to go. No. But considering the amount of time... Ow. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, just a bit startled. Are they insane? They're not helping anyone by trying to hurt us. Don't they understand that we're doing this to save them? Those people will be on the MPT waiting list until the day that they die. You saw the WSA using so many resources to send four people to space? You'd be angry too. They don't understand. But when we bring the arcs back, they will. Or they won't. I mean, they might. And I hope they do, but they're promising something that might not happen. Even if we do bring back the arcs. Hope springs eternal in the human breast. That's the way I choose to view it. Alexander Pope. The soul uneasy and confined from home dreams of a life to come. Nerds. Look at you knowing your poetry. What can I say? I'm not just a pretty face. Okay. <laughs> Take a look at this view. Wow. Never ceases to amaze, right? It's a shame we couldn't build her properly. What? With all these shortages of materials, it really is a miracle that this thing is here at all. You could have mentioned this in all these months of prep that we're flying economy class? No, I didn't want to worry you. Except for right before taking off. Seemed only fair to disclose it now? Sure, sure. If Claire believes we can use her for the mission, we should trust her. I believe Zephyr 3 will handle the mission just fine. Here we go. Hello. Let me let me see. Yep, three out of four, so I maybe missed one. Or maybe not. Maybe it's around here. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it to be honest about the scanning, but, you know, it'll be cool if I scanned everything. Alright. The way they stand when they're idle is weird. You don't know just how high it really is until... Yeah. Oh, y'all are waiting for me to go first? That's sweet. Launch sequence initiated. Culprit team, this is ground control. Proceed with final checks. Copy, GC. 
Opera team comms check. Go. 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 Cat, systems check. Oxygen. Uh, yep. Oxygen is go. Flight. Flight is go. Navigation. Navigation go. Navigation is go. Ground launch sequencer. Ground launch sequencer is go. Fuel. Fuel is go. Fuel is go. Liquid oxygen. Liquid oxygen is go. Power. Power is go. Launch sequence functions. Go. Launch sequence functions are go. Propellant load check. Uh, Good to go. Ryan, to go. airtight seal and cockpit air composition check. Seal and air composition are go. Sarah, start fuel cell thermal conditioning. Conditioning is a go. Cat, strong back retract. Uh, I don't know what that means. That. Yep, I did the thing. I pressed the thing. Strong back successfully retracted. Yep. Sarah, bent off lines. Sarah, you're too slow. Lines are vented. We are go. Starting automatic ground launch sequencer. Sequencer is a go. Cat, retract orbiter access arm. Uh... Orbiter access arm is retracted. Copy. Start auxiliary power unit. Oh, we have to do all of these, maybe? Oh, that's me. Uh, okay. I'm just doing the sliders. <laughs> All right, last one. Done. Auxiliary power units are go. Copy. Retract gaseous oxygen vent arm. Yeah. I don't know what you, you want me to do. Um, it's this? I don't know what to do. Okay, uh, gaseous oxygen vent. Yeah, I did that first, but I didn't, I didn't know what else to do, because I thought when we reach a number, they will just tell us, okay. Beanie cap retracted. Opera team, visors down. Go. 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 Transfer complete. We're on internal power. Sarah, activate launch pad sound suppression system. Suppression system online. Activating solid fuel thrusters hydrogen burn off system. Burn off systems are a go. Cat, initiate solid fuel thrusters start. Is it that one? Solid fuel thrusters are a go. What happens if I switch? Here we go. I want to switch something off just to jeopardize this mission. <laughs> I'm the bad guy. Hmm. 
Engage. That's heavy. Alright. Ground control. <laughs> Major time. Commencing countdown engines on. mess around with things but that they, they don't allow me to do that they're not allowing me yeah we're we're up there now let's just look at this guy at space see the changes Yeah, I know what that is. It's here. Top left, right? Oh, no, wait. No, no, no. Go. Copy. Initiate second stage ignition. Go. The second stage throttles up. Oh, the heavy one. <laughs> Done. Go. That's pretty cool. I like that. I really enjoyed this part. Oh, look. Yeah, there's no gravity now. That's pretty cool. Uh, Claire, I don't know what's going on, but our ship is, uh, doing something. It's not anymore. We're good. <laughs> Got an off second engine. Second stage that one, right? Yep. I'm learning quick. And then this. And it's away. Oh, we're done. These like thrusters or something. Boosters. Going to Mars. Here we go, Opera Team. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Babe, did you prepare philosophical quotes for the entire journey, or...? Only like five a day. Oh, good. Wanna see something cool? Always. Meet me at the escape pods. You didn't like it? I mean, it's great, truly. One small We're wrapping up after, uh, after this cutscene. Oh, wow, old school, huh? Yeah. You never look excited. 
don't be cheeky. I was as frugal as possible when designing this ship. However, I did splurge on one last minute addition. A window. You're really ruining the moment, so. Just look. This is what we're doing it for. Right, Cap? Sure. Yeah, that's what you pay. Sarah and Ryan are probably settling into their pod. I'll head back to the cockpit. Yes, yeah, settling. You're right there. That's the word. <laughs> Dive. Okay. okay now be we are wrapping up this episode right here. So we're going to start chapter two on the next episode. Stay tuned for that. And uh, I'll catch you guys then. Peace.